guys, it's Rhiannon here at Model Domestic Church. I have a video for you guys today of a Catholic homeschool curriculum provider that I think a lot of you are gonna be really excited to hear about. So I did a video a few days ago, it might've been a week ago, um, about our Catholic homeschool planner that we're gonna be using in a daily life planner. And um, I was so excited to know that they were still printing this planner and they were printing a new place called, called St. Jerome School. So I have a little uh, booklet here and uh, St. Jerome School has so much to offer. So I reached out to her, we had a conversation. I told her I love the planner so much. I was so excited about it. I wanted to know more about the curriculum. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Her name is Nicole and she has a wonderful website and it's easy to follow. She has homeschool bundles. Um, for every grade level and I just love it. So I did some research and I read more about her curriculum company and I do want to tell you right up front they are traditional Catholic homeschoolers. She's a mama of 10 which I like because it tells me she knows how to write curriculum for bigger families and I like that. Um, another thing I do want to point out is that they are pre-Vatican II traditional Catholics. So they have it all laid out on the website to let you know exactly their thoughts and perspective on things. My family, we do believe in Vatican II. We follow the church teaching as it is now. So with that being said, um, that would include not following Pope Francis as the current Pope and things like that. And the only reason I'm being clear with that is so that you guys know if there's a difference in your uh, faith walk. Like if you are a Catholic and you follow church teaching now and you believe that Pope Francis is the Pope, my family does, um, we're Roman Catholic and yeah. So there are some differences and I just wanna be clear about that so y'all know up front um, that there are some differences. So there is a difference there, but she was really nice and helpful and we had a discussion about any differences. And she said really the main differences would probably be in the 11th and 12th grade curriculum. Um, everything else she said is pretty universal, like most Catholics, you know, would be able to use it. Um, but I just wanted to be straightforward and let you guys know up front, just like she has in her catalog and on the website, that they are pre-Vatican II Catholics. So just so you know. But when it comes to the curriculum of what I have found, I've poured over this and looked over everything, and she sent me a lot of items that um, could be used by any Catholic. I think that there's so much beauty, I keep saying that, um, and she has made some really quality products, and I'm excited to share them with you guys because I think that it's just so great to have options in the Catholic curriculum world and um, especially something so beautiful and so fun and so colorful. And I love supporting industrious women. And I believe Miss Nicole that has this curriculum company is just that. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys so many beautiful things that they carry at the St. Jerome School. I think you guys are going to love it. It's colorful, it's beautiful. And if you haven't seen the video on my planners, I'll link in the description box below for you to check out because they're gorgeous as well. So let's get started.
Okay, guys, so this book is like one of my favorite things. This is for grade four for logic. It's called A Child's Introduction to the Nature of Description. I cannot wait to use it with my son this year. I think he's really, really going to love it. Look how beautiful and colorful it is, and it lays out everything in such a simple fashion. It's not confusing. It's not like they're trying to trick the child. It's like exactly what they're trying to teach it's laid out as clear as day and I feel like that's one thing we've really struggled with with some some curriculum providers is that it's just kind of confusing whereas this one is just it's like it's clear this is what this is these are the names this is this um so I really really like it and I'm really excited about using it with my son this year um and to start doing more with logic in fourth grade okay so one thing I'm really excited about is that they are they are bringing back these Catholic graphic novels from the 1950s, which I think is like super, super fun. Um, and so she sent one so I could show it to you. And I just think they are so fun. Now, because they're from the 50s, I'm not sure if, you know, everything will be politically correct as we're used to hearing now. Um, so just a heads up on that if that is something... Um, you'd want to know about or think about you'd have to kind of read through the whole thing yourself but um, we have a child who this is their feast day um, the uh, Our Lady of Fatima and so this was a very very special thing to receive and it's in just such beautiful condition and I'm really really excited about this okay so we will have a fourth grader this year and this will definitely be a book that we will be using St. Jerome Catholic Spellers and I really really love how it's laid out so I'll give you an example. So this is a lesson, lesson 13. They give you all the words here. One thing I love is that everything is in alphabetical order. So it's, that's the way it's written out, which I just think is really, really fun. For some kids, they, they would do better with that. Um, other kids, maybe not. I'm not sure what the preference would be, but I like this. I think it's good also because it helps when you're trying to teach your child about a dictionary um, to lay it out in that order. So anyways, they have a lesson. They give you... Um, you know, the definitions, and then you can have your child practice writing the words for a couple of pages, and then you have a complete the sentence, which is fun to put it into context, and then they have a little section on synonyms and antonyms, and I think that's like super fun. I love the colors. I love how colorful this curriculum is, and um, I think it would really help to build vocabulary as well because they have lots of wonderful words. So this is the fourth grade speller. Okay, I was extremely excited about this one. So I love the Treasure Box series. Um, I have an old, old set. Um, what they've done with this is they've taken some of the books and put them in a hardbound book together, which I think is really, really precious. So this is volume one. And they go through with the whole story. So if you're familiar with it, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about. They have little stories of St. Therese. They have things on the days of creation, which is wonderful because we do go through that every year with the kids as they get older. And then it goes through and it has a different book. So I'm trying to find another page, but um, they'll have it here somewhere. Anyway, they have stories about Our Lady. It's just fantastic. I'm super excited. Oh, sorry. I'm super excited that they've done this. And I just feel like... The little paperback books, I love them, but um, sometimes um, they can kind of fall apart. And so with a hardbound book, I just think it's really nice. Okay, so this is a Catholic art appreciation. Um, it's really, really beautiful. And I'm, I think this is the one for fourth grade art. It is really, really beautiful. I love everything about this one. The pictures, everything it has written, it's gorgeous. Um, it is exquisite. The pictures are gorgeous. I love all the color. I love the glossy pages. Um, it's really beautiful. And then they go on to have like little descriptions and explanations for different um, things that you could be learning alongside the pictures. And we're Catholic, you know, so it's nice we put that intense art in there because that's that's what we do. <laughs> so anyway, it's so like here. Um, have you seen this painting before? What saint is this? Who is he fighting? This painting is often used as a, this is how I would do a lesson. <laughs> this painting is often used as a very symbolic picture of the fight of good versus evil. Who wins? Which side looks more appealing? How does Raphael use position here? 
who has the higher place. So then you can, I love it because every single book that I've seen so far from um, this curriculum provider, it incorporates m more than just one subject into each of the lessons, which I really like, which leads me to the next thing. This is an example of their lesson plan. So this is the grade four lesson plan. And like I said, I will have a fourth grader. Um, so here is an example of one of the weeks. So we have week 20, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday at the top. Um, I love how it's not overwhelming. Like there's not tons and tons and tons of work. There's kind of just enough, if I could say. Um, so they have the names of the different books to be used, what pages to use um, that day. And I love it because when I look at lesson plans, I like to see a lot of space left open. So that means that I can add in what we're wanting to do. I can take the lesson that we do have and I can expound upon it. I can, um, Know, do more things with it and make it fit our schedule a little bit better. So I like the way it's laid out and I'm assuming that these little things here in the front, they're going to have a little explanation. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's so that sweet. Um, students will need, and they tell you everything they're going to need and they have a sample. Oh guys, I just love this so much. And I'm not going to lie. I love, oh, they do the same thing with CHC. They give you, okay, this is everything you're going to be using for the year. They give you an explanation of it. I just love it. I love the color. I love the beauty in this curriculum. I like how it's simplified. And um, I think it's really fantastic. Okay, and here is a Catholic math book for kindergarten. Is this not the most like exquisite picture on the cover? I love it. So first thing I'm going to say is I love all of the color. My kids like color and they have fun things like the knights and the moccasins. And this is one of my favorite pictures. It's on the Angelus prayer I love to have on. Um, there's so much in here. It's simple, not, to, not a ton of directions, like some books where you have to sit down and really explain it to your child, like, or read a ton of directions. It's a simple direction and it's pretty laid out, um, especially for the young ages where some might not be reading yet. Um, so yeah, I really, sorry about my, all my ums, but I'm just, I'm loving everything that is in here. Okay guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all of the beautiful books, they're so beautiful. I keep saying beautiful, but they're just so beautiful and everything is made so well and they ship really fast and I, I just love everything that we got. Like I said before, um, it's, it's a beautiful curriculum provider. They have grades pre-K through 12th. They are a pre-Vatican II Catholic curriculum provider. So just so you know that, and, um, and I just, I'm really excited because I have been looking for quality Catholic homeschool, homeschool curriculum that is, that you can afford. And that is just so beautiful. It's gorgeous. So if you're new to this channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you think this content would be a blessing to somebody else, I'd love for you to share it. I'll have all the information in the description box below if you want to check out St. Jerome's School. And I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.